So in this video, we're going to look at vectors in rectangular or what's also called component form. I use the two uh, words interchangeably. They're the same thing, rectangular form, component form. And that's when you have a coordinate system that your vectors are happening in. So in component form, you describe a vector by saying how much it goes left or right, and then by saying how much it goes up or down. And it's very analogous with coordinates. So let me show you. Let's say I have this vector here, and I'm going to be referring to this background grid as sort of my coordinate system. So there I have this vector that I've drawn. It goes, you know, from here to here. And I want to write its component form, its rectangular form. So if I look at how much it goes left to right, the vector goes uh, to the right this much. And then it also goes, at the same time, down this much. This looks like slope, but we're not going to make a ratio here. We're not going to do delta y over delta x. We're simply going to um, see how much it goes left or right, and then how much it goes up or down. And that will be the component form. So if I count the squares there, this vector is going 6 to the right. So its x component is going to be plus 6. The plus indicates in the positive x direction. It went 6 to the right as opposed to 6 to the left. Likewise, it went 3 down. So its y component will be written as minus 3. And the way I write the components is I write it somewhat analysis to ordered pairs. I say, okay, so that vector is 6, comma, negative 3. It goes 6 right, 3 down from where it starts to where it ends. However, I do something uh, that's fairly common when vectors are written. When I write my ordered pair here, I don't use parentheses because that's what, how we indicate points. Points in a coordinate system. And I want to end this ordered pair. I want the notation to remind me that this is not a point, but this is a vector. It's a sort of a, a, a change. It's a change of plus 6 and minus 3. So I just alter the notation a little bit, and I write these angled brackets around it when I write a vector. And that indicates that this ordered pair is not referring to a position, but it's rever referring to a vector. It's referring to sort of this arrow. So this is how I will write uh, vectors in component or rectangular form. The first is called the x component, and the second number is called the y component. It's called rectangular form because you're working with this rectangular grid. So here's a simple example. What if I wanted to sketch the vector u that had components negative 1 and 5? So that means that's starting somewhere. It goes 1 left because the x component is negative 1, and then it goes 5 up. And so the vector u goes from here and goes to there. So it looks like that. The nice thing about rectangular form or component form is that it makes it really easy to add, subtract vectors rather than the imprecision of sort of drawing arrows and hoping that you get things precise. You have the precision of values. So let's say I have these two vectors, uh, u and v, and I want to add them. I want to do u plus v. And there's not a very surprising formula for how to add them up. But let's remember how we did this with pictures. So if I wanted to do u plus v, first I would draw u. So u goes 1 left and 5 up, so that's vector u. And then I'm going to do tip-to-tail adding. So here's I've drawn u, and then I'm going to take the tail of u, and I'm going to draw v coming off of that. So v goes 4 to the right, because the next component is 4, and then it goes 3 up, like that. So v looks like that. And if you remember from the previous lesson, the way we do u plus v in this way of adding is we go from the tail of u up to the tip of v. So that's u plus v. What are the components of u plus v? Well, the x component is plus 3, if you count boxes, and the y component is plus 8. But of course the x component is plus 3, because we went 1 left and then 4 right. So it's like negative 1 and then plus 4. And then the y component is plus 8, because we went 5 up, and then we went three more up. And so the obvious thing to do to add vectors is what's actually correct. If I want to add vector u and vector v and I have their component form here, I just add the x's and I add the y's. It's as simple as that. So u plus v is the x component is negative 1 plus 4. The y component is 5 plus 3. And so u plus v is the vector 3 comma 8. 
very straightforward. Works the same way with subtracting. I'm not going to draw the pictures anymore. In the homework, you'll have to draw pictures uh, for these. But I'm not going to draw them anymore because we want to get through this video. So if I want to do V minus U, so that would be 4 comma 3 for V minus negative 1 comma 5. And we simply subtract. We subtract the X components. We subtract the Y components. So we'll get 4 minus negative 1 for the X component. 3 minus 5 for the Y component which is 5 comma negative 2. So v minus u is the vector 5 comma negative 2. We handle multiplication in a similar way. If I want to do 3 times u, remember that means u gets 3 times as long. It would be like if this were u over here, we have u plus u plus u, we have 3 times as long. But that's clearly just going to triple the x part and triple the y part. And so if I want to do 3 times u, I'm doing 3 times negative 1 comma 5, and I just simply tr triple the x and triple the y. So I get negative 3 comma 15 is 3u. And I can put all this together, like I could do something like 1 half u plus 4v. So that's 1 half of u plus 4v, and then I multiply u by a half, and I multiply v by 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 3 is 12, and then I add, I have to do some add fraction adding, 16 plus negative 1 half, 15 and a half, 12 plus 5 half, this is 2 and a half, so I get 14 and halves. One last thing for this video. Displacement vectors are particularly easy in a coordinate system. If you remember, displacement vectors, when you have some sort of start point, and then you move along some path, which doesn't have to be straight, to an end point, the displacement vector is the vector that goes from start to end. That's that straightforward. But what if all of this is happening in a coordinate system? So let me put a coordinate system in here. So here's my origin now. Now this start point has coordinates. Ordinary usual coordinates. Notice I'm using parentheses here because this is coordinates. It's not a vector anymore. This is the coordinates of that point. This point's minus 5, boom, 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 4. The end point is 2 minus 2. Usual way you do coordinates. There's a very easy way to get this displacement vector from these coordinates. The components would be, if I count these boxes, the x would be 7 to the right, so plus 7. But we know how to compute changes. If I want to get the change here, I'm just going to subtract the x-coordinate. The only thing you have to be careful about that's slightly counterintuitive if you want to get the sign right, if you want it to be plus 7, you have to do end minus start to minus negative 5. The end x minus the start x gives me how much. Not start minus end. Start minus end will give you the wrong sign. As I can see here, I'm moving 7 to the right. So I have to do the end x minus the start x, 2 minus negative 5, to get how much my x coordinate changed, which is what the component, the x component of the displacement vector will be. Similarly, I can see that my displacement vector is going 6 down if I count the boxes. But that again is my end y minus my start y. And so we have this very straightforward shortcut for getting displacement vectors in a coordinate system. Rather than counting boxes, you just do end coordinate minus start coordinate end x minus start x, comma, end y minus start y. So for a quick example, if I wanted the displacement from minus 3, 2 to 4, 0, if I wanted the displacement vector that took me from there to there, remember the path, I could be going all over the place here. All that matters is as I start it at negative 3, 2, and I end there. Then I'm going to subtract end x minus start x, 4 minus negative 3, and y minus start y, 0 minus negative 2, and that gives me my displacement vector of 7 comma 2. And if I draw it in, I can see, yeah, that's the vector that goes 7 to the right and 2 up.